Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 7. We pick up from turn 38 in the winter season of 197. So, our last episode ended with our successful attack against Ma Chao's last uh, city here in Wudu Copper Mine, which wiped out their faction. Uh, instead of marching all the way back to take care of Han Sui uh, with the same army, uh, we're actually going to let them continue down south. Uh, perhaps against Zhang Lu first, since he only has one territory. That way we uh, take care of Han Zhong, and then we can continue down into the uh, Shu lands through Baxi and Ba Chengdu, pick up all these territories. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we probably just recruit a new army to take care of them. I'm thinking we'll just let these guys perhaps sail uh, maybe to uh, take uh, Wei through annexation. And then we'll summon the army here and then march our way across the horse pasture and then take care of the farmland. That way we kind of wrap up uh, the north as well. We'll buy these land away from the high empire, claim both of these just so that we have everything here. And then they can disband and just go back to farming rebels. Um, so we're going to have them start out uh, towards this place. Now annexation does cost a bit of money, uh, 5,000, but you do get intimidation back. Uh, we're doing fine economically, but there's no need to give away the 5,000 right away. Uh, we does take a long time to get over there. It'd probably be faster if we sail first and then pop on to land later, actually. Maybe we'll take the empty commandery first. It'd be closer, I think. Right, two more turns. We'll get the horse pasture first. Uh, recruit an army and then march over there and take care of them. It does. It's going to take a while for them to uh, replenish here just because um, the population is going to be low. We can also finish building. Um, I don't think we actually need to build much. Yeah, all these are kind of set. They're all full built as city. We need more reforms. And that's it. Dongzhou's army can start heading towards uh, Hanzhou next turn. Start him out on the side. For an officer. Over here, we're just defending against a potential attack by Liu Bei's forces. So, let's continue and see what happens. This is an interesting offer. Cao Cao wants us to join their coalition. No, thank you. Alright, Zhang Jiang signed a peace treaty with Han Fu, Liu Dan, and Huang Shao. They added Tao Ying to their faction. So there's two there's two big coalitions out east that seems to be competing with each other. Interesting. Our spy finally worked. He got recruited into Shizia's faction. Okay, now we can actually play some spy games. So he's gonna gain a lot of cover. Uh, six cover per turn. Most of this is because of his um, uh, trait, quiet trait. I think four points from that. He's only going to get one undercover network per turn. Uh, we'll try to basically use our cover and convert them into undercover network uh, using built undercover network once we get 10 points. It's going to be a long game here. We're also not going to get to Shizhe in a for a long time, so he has time to build up and save points. But we finally got him attached to someone. Now Liu Bei seems to be marching up towards Hedong, which is fine. Yuan Shao has personally come to join the party with Wen Chou and uh, Xu Yu. And this is Liu Dai marching over here again. Okay. We'll see what they do. Uh, we're going to stay here. We traded it back just so that we don't have to worry about defending over here and getting um, flanked by a river maneuver. Uh, we're happy here. If we have more food, more stable food, we would upgrade the city. But because most of our food right now depends on assignments, uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah. The public order is doing too well because we're at the third tier. So the rebellion is not happening for a while. Andin is still going to rebel because we have the tax collector here. This is probably the best place to farm in the future as well because it's central. So we can actually defend these areas while keeping an army here. Um, we're going to claim some land first. We'll get there next turn. And then we can arm up and take care of him. Then we don't have any more threat uh, in the west. Meanwhile, Zhang Lu actually is recruiting. 
Did he read my mind? Li Xiu Yan Pu. Okay, so he recruited a lot of people we didn't recruit. Sima Long. Okay. This should be. I need to see the actual characters, but that should be Sima Yi's younger brother. Qu Gong. Okay. Well, we'll officially declare war on him next turn. I don't think we can actually reach it in one turn. Yeah, it will take two turns, so... No rush. We'll stand right here and see what he does. Uh, there's nothing to build, which is sad, but also allows us to save some money. I'm assuming he's not going to come over. He's going to attack the city. And we probably don't need to ambush anywhere. We could upgrade these troops. Oh, we can't. He can't have um, spear guards. Uh, but these are good. So these will have both charge reflect and charge negate. Because he has charge negate on the re own retinue. So that will work out. Uh, we have a new reform. We still don't have a school building. So we can't continue down the onyx dragon to go here. Which will also upgrade our silk traders. But we could actually go this route although we'll pick up two public order which will make Jincheng uh, probably rebellion proof but we'll also be able to upgrade the tax collector a bit more which will make it easier for us to uh, get a rebellion spawn in Anding or alternatively we can go for a level 5 private workshop or a level 4 tool maker Or go down this path and start unlocking some higher tier cavalry units. Maybe get some replenishment bonus. This might be good now that I've been spoiled by Yellow Turban campaign where replenishment sky high. I think we can start with this one maybe. We can wait off that. I don't really want to speed up rebellions that fast. Consider that we have to take care of Hansui first. Um, army stays. Don't draw armies move. Yeah, that's it. We're going to get that horse pasture next turn. Let's continue. Oh, wait. Liu Bei wants to sign peace treaty with us. But if he peace out with us, doesn't he peace out with our vassal? And then he can't attack this. And his army is just stranded here. This is not very logical. Recent losses in battle. Interesting. I mean, I, I don't mind a peace treaty with him, to be honest. Because we're going to keep him for late game. Wow, he's willing to give us a lot. There we go. 420. What do you know? Yeah, we'll take this deal. Alright, Liu Bei and Liu Biao are in the same coalition. Oh wow, that coalition is getting really strong. Okay, a comet. No effect though. So, Liu Bei and us peaced out, so he can't attack He Dong. He has to just leave. Yuan Shao took the port. Liu Dai is marching ahead, and Yuan Shao has a second army. Guan Ping, okay. Yuan Hui Jin, okay. He has a tribuchet, gotta watch for that. If they can not come all at once, I'm not worried. But if they all stack together, it could be trouble. Uh, once again, nothing to build, really. We're going to just take this horse pasture right here. We'll build the level 1 upgrade. 
We're going to actually march them to the edge. You guys here. Before recruiting an army for them. Just to save a little cost and we can muster here in the attack. Because we're going to disband it right after. Alright. Now is our war with Zhang Lu. Well, his army is not bad either. New character. Also could be a good spy. Grudge against Shi Xie. Interesting. We could keep him. He's high level too. So we can dump him as a spy once we uh, rank up. He also has a character on him. Perfect. Do we have a... He has a better version. We have two artisans. That's pretty amazing actually. She can get plus 5%. Yeah, it's the best we can do for her. Alright, we're gonna officially declare war on Zhang Lu. No point to wait. And we're gonna try to set a trap with our lone general over here. 95%. A lot of really high percentage ambush spots here in the narrow mountain passes. Alright, this is 95. Since we can't since we can't reach them, we might as well set a trap. We're gonna put her right behind to see if we can catch any one of them out of position. Make it a lot easier to fight the city battle. Alright, we're done over there. We're just kind of waiting to see what happened over here as well. I'm pretty sure we can't build anything without upgrading the uh, commanderies. So that's fine. We'll just save up money. Let's continue. Alright, Zhang Lu's main army fell for the ambush. Now since we hate ambush fights, I'm going to delegate this fight. Oh, that might be a mistake too. Medium loss, night battle. That one general doesn't really matter. I think I'm just going to delegate. Alright. The generals got beat up pretty hard. So did the front line. But we won. Capture. No value. But we could recruit both of them. I mean we had a chance to recruit these characters. And we passed on them when they were at our pool. They're just too old. We'll just take the release income. Uh, I might actually replenish here. Yeah, let's take the replenish. Alright. Seize the future. Alright, we got a ancillary item, Scholar. So we could increase the level up rate of our troops. Versus trade income. This is only 5%. We're going to pass on that. We're going to get 10% level up experience. Although it might hurt our uh, satisfaction. But we can spend some of that right now on this level up. Uh, he is our assignment character. But eventually I want him to be in the army. Or as administrator actually. Yeah, 10% commerce is really good. Hmm. He's pretty good at everything, to be honest. We'll grab these two. I guess I'll make him an administrator in the future. And since he's mad at us, we're going to spend some um, intimidation right away. Considering that we're going to battle very soon. Alright, Jincheng could use a lot of buildings. Uh, let's upgrade... The port for more commerce. Undings waiting for a rebellion. Continue to upgrade the horse pasture. 
All right, we have one army who stepped forth. They're sailing north. If they go for our farmland, it would be kind of tragic, both in terms of food and losing 15 points of uh, intimidation. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything about that. What we can do is... Oh, I don't want to fight ambush fights. But I want to be closer. I guess I don't have to ambush him. I just have to walk up. So that we could potentially catch him if he goes this way. Alright, let's just get to over here. We'll recruit a full army here for him. Now with horse pasture building up, cavalry should be cheaper. They are pretty cheap. 500, 100. Yeah, I think they're like on par with spear guards at this point. Farmland garrisons are what? No, 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 that's my garrison. I want no farmland garrisons. We can check our own farmland to double check. I'm trying to figure out if they have a lot of spear. They do have a lot of spear. So maybe not all cavalry. Maybe some range units to kill the G militia. And then we'll go cavalry on these guys. Four turns to full health. We'll probably move after three. We don't need them to be full. Alright, over here we're gonna attack the army outside to pull this army out. Alright, we'll do... We don't need to do Night Battle, actually. We want to pull this group out. Let's do it. Alright, we're loaded up in here. There are reinforcements coming from over there. We're gonna be pretty aggressive in our placement. Preferably if we could actually hit them as they pull towards their reinforcement. Now our generals are all a little bit wounded, so we gotta be careful here. I think that's everyone. Alright. Let's turn off auto fire real quick. We're just gonna hold this position. Ooh, they're not running. But they ran right into the shot, though. Alright, we'll see what they do. We're mainly interested in killing this group. He can still stand here to give the passive boost. He'll stay in the back. We'll save our shots. This group is nothing. Now the enemy trebuchet is going to have a hard time pulling up into range, so we don't really have to worry about that. Yeah, I don't want to waste shots firing at those guys. I can light this part on fire when they get close. Let's hurry this part up a little. Is that a crossbow unit? Alright, they get one shot. Eh. Not, not great, but not terrible. These spear guards are what I'm scared of the most. Don't really care about cavalry, don't care about the injured troops. Okay, their generals are all very injured too. That's good news. Oh, oh. They're charging. Nope, we are injured. Although he might be able to heal us, but I'm not sure if we can win that. Crossbow units in that group? Yeah, we gotta we gotta take care of that. I like how they're coming at us in multiple groups. Alright, 
Alright, that's enough. That crossbow unit routed, so that's their damage. Our crossbow will take care of them when they get close. Even if they're approaching from an angle. And our cavalry can kill the officers. Let's see, are you guys getting close enough to start firing at you guys? Nope, they're slow. Here comes the archers. Nope. We're not dueling today. Alright. Those guys are gone. Stop firing. Now the crossbow men might shoot us for a little bit, but that's that's a loss we have to accept. Or uh, we don't want to move out of position. If we get shot, we get shot. Just gonna kill this guy real quick. He's almost dead. I will kill him too. Time to start lighting the forest on fire. All right, send one guy at him so he stops shooting, because skirmish mode is gonna make him run. All right, these are the spear guards. We're still gonna light this forest on fire first. Now, killing one of their generals actually healed one of their generals. This guy got healed. All right, we'll pull these guys back. Cavalry's in reserve. Gonna be very useful. All right, we're starting a little forest fire here. Now we want to kill the spear guards. See, that guy is useless. Here are the spear guards. Alright, line up. You guys can fire, Will. We killed the strategist with trebuchet. <laughs> that hasn't happened. They're moving really fast. We're not able to catch up to him with our shot fire. But we'll get him. We've been getting the guys behind him. Oh, this is a shot. I feel it. There we go. They're trying to line up and then charge at the same time. Two cavalry from the side. We could counter charge that. I'm not so worried. How many more shots? Seven. That's plenty. Look at that crowd. Too bad the reload time is going to kill us. I'm not going to get that perfect shot. As they gathered. Alright. Well, that's still not bad. Well, that's still not bad. That's a good shot. Alright, here comes our crossbowman. Oh, please hit that group. Next wave. There we go. Alright, we routed them before they even came up. This is the other group. I don't think they'll make it past the crossbowman. They're not even charging. Alright, time to go. What we need to do is actually wipe these guys out so they are not in the next fight. I forgot about that. I forgot there's still a siege fight coming up. Alright, if he wants to die, he can die. There we go. We gotta chase everyone down. Uh, one on him is fine. Where's our general? They need to get busy too. Alright, Trebuchet is done. Good for them. He doesn't have Unbreakable. He's gonna route. 
Yep, he's routed. So, we're going to spend the rest of the time chasing down people. So, I'll cut that part out. We'll see you guys uh, when we're done with that. Alrighty. That was a very clean fight. We captured Zhang Lu. Oh, we want to employ him so bad. Celestial Master. Oh, this is really good too. Oh, we need to execute him then. This is really good. Oh, we can't recruit him ever because he's faction leader. That's right. Yeah, but double food. Alright, let's see. Bright, not burnt. Close. Would you increase the chance of us getting Sima Yi in the future? Probably not. I doubt the game is designed that way. But he's a very decent general. I think we can actually recruit him. So employ and execute. Replenishment. Alright, John Lewis died. We got a really good item though. We'll lose out on 5% movement, but we gain 10% industry. And expertise and authority are both good stats for him. Yeah, we'll lose out. We can give him to our other army that's actually moving on the map. Alright, we've already seen all that. Alright, that army's ran away. She can come closer to get some experience. We can actually... Yeah, we're gonna just attack the city. I don't think we need to actually fight this on the field. We'll just delegate this fight. Ninety-nine intimidation. All right, we're gonna occupy. Wait, why is there a new character all of a sudden? Traitor. Uh, used to work for Zhang Lu's faction. Vengeful, cheerful, healthy. I mean, she sounds like a good wife. Cheerful and healthy, vengeful. Um, mm, her trait's not bad. Does she have items on her? No. That's the only thing that's holding me back. Now, the question is do we want to marry off a lot of our faction's characters? Because if so, we could find them wives, right? John L is 29, she's 29. She's a decent general. We can put them together. Hmm. I'll think about it. Alright, we have taken Hanjong, which goes very well with our silk trader. They do not need to be planting food. Although I can I can understand why, because Zhang Lu does very well with food production. Uh, I think just do this one turn and then we'll pop in the uh, in building and for the f f fourth building let's see in building state workshop private workshop marketplace maybe I can't think oh we can do a school yeah we can do a school and that way we have a reform perfect All right, that part's ready. This part's waiting for replenishment. All right, we don't really have much to do. I really want this weapon craftsman. We could go get it. We can attack. We can send someone this way to go get it. Because we're going to send the army down this way to attack uh, Liu Yan over here. We can send Niu Fu over. We can cheese it out a little bit too. Do this. 
Send her back. And then we can just have him run over here. Why is he going the long way? Isn't this clearly faster? Right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna actually go try to grab that one. And that's it. Let's go on to our next turn. Alright, Gong Sun Zan Liu Dai requests the war. Wow, they solidify their coalition into a military alliance. Mu Rong. Another potential spy. Uh, interesting. Alright, we have a few issues. We have two armies just trying to run up into the inner part of our territory, and Renshaw's main army is still hovering here. Which makes me a little hesitant to chase. We could use 5% movement right now. I don't know if we can actually catch him, but let's try. That 5% should help. There we go. Alright, night battle. I don't think... We'll save everyone a little bit of time and just delegate this fight. Although, I don't want John to be injured. Alright, we're going to fight it. If it's boring, I'm just going to cut out the whole fight. Which I think it would be, so... We'll see you at the end. Alright guys, we're cutting back into the fight just for this one bit because Guan Ping dared to duel Lu Bu. So I thought I might show you guys this. Uh, we're pretty much in a tight circle over there, not having to worry about the enemy. And I just turn everything to auto fire so we can watch the duel. I'm not even gonna use abilities. That was quick. Let's see how they're doing. They're trying to get a rear flank, but they're losing morale because their general died. Uh, they're getting some shots in on their crossbowmen. We lost some front line, but largely we're doing fine. Zhang Liao is engaged. Move him back. He was uh, watching the fight a little bit too close. What about the cavalry? Oh, they're actually trying to flank. John L can help out with this group. Alright, we're gonna route everyone else too. Yeah, really not worried. We got a uh, shield wall with charge negate. So even if the cavalry hit us, it doesn't do any damage. People can just have some fun killing people. We'll do this on fast. Let's see how long a, a strategist will last. Alright, one hits, 3k. So two more hits, he's dead. Oh, one more hit, he's dead. Come on, finish her. There we go. Alright, we won. Uh, the only bad part about this fight is I forgot to spend our intimidation, so we might spill over a little bit. Alright, Lubu had his fun. Killed all three generals. We could have lost a few more men if we microed our tribuches, but it'd be more interesting to see Lubu kill people. Yeah, our intimidation went over by a little bit. I think we were at. 99, we spent 6, we dropped. Yeah, I think we, we maybe wasted 3 points. 
Not a big deal. And we get extra experience. We can get a bit more intimidation from them later. We're going to lose 15 points from this fight here. Although he can't reach us in a turn. Right, terrain. That's working for us this time. Uh, we need to find a way to use our 30 points extra. Oh, Guajia and Ribu also became Oathorns. We could give everyone raises. Or we can cohere someone into a deal. Is there something we want? Oh, trade agreement. Liu Yan. Oh, we're going to attack them. Yeah, we border you now, but that's a different different issue now. Uh, anyone want to be our vassal? Zhang Yan. You're down to one commandery. Hmm, we could be an easy out for him to make him force peace over there. Gong Sun Zan's getting really strong. Yuan Yao. I mean, the only person I really want to vassalize that I feel is worth our time is Zheng Jiang. But I don't think she's interested. Alright, Cao Cao. Who owns this right now? Yuan Shao owns that. What can we actually trade for? That's the problem. There's really nothing we can actually trade for. The other question is, do we actually want Liu Yan's land? He currently only has Chengdu, the, the city, and uh, Basi, the livestock farm. He doesn't have the armor craftsman, which is what I really want. I don't really care about the rest of Chengdu, right? Farmland plus assault mine. Basi's, I'm not that interested uh, either. Toolmaker plus a uh, large town. We could let him keep his land as long as he doesn't claim this and get a trade route and just keep him as a partner. Right, from the entire shoe re region, what I want is the weapon craftsman, the armor craftsman, uh, this port city right here in Jiangyang. And there's a copper mine down here that I want. So I want this city. I want the copper mine. I want the lumber yard. And I'll take the farmland as well. Right. Alright. So if that's the case, let's make a deal with Liu Yan. And he gets to live. Uh, where are you? Wait, where are you? There you are. He hates us. Sure. Do you want to be our vassal? Never. Okay. How about a military access? Ah, so he won't... Hmm. Then this doesn't work. Then we have to destroy him. If he's willing to become our vassal or give us a uh, least access, then it would be worth it. But since that's not the case... Alright, let's just spend our intimidation on our own people then. They deserve to be happy. Um, Li Ru... I mean, you're already pretty high up. Fine. 10 intimidation point for you. Anyone else minus 36? Yeah, he's also minus 36. Alright, 18. That's fine. We're going to lose 4 a turn anyway, so might as well spend them. Oh. Well, I'm only keeping you as a spy, so I don't really need to keep you happy. I'm keeping you in the hope that you'll attract your brother Sima Yi to our faction. Not sure if that's how it works, but... Alright, we can actually put him on march. Okay. 
He's almost there. Says Liu Yan's not gonna give us what we want. We're gonna go take it by force. Can we go through our own territory or is it just too difficult? Four turns versus five. Oh, four turns to reach here. And then two turns to come down. Six turns. This way it's five turns. We save one turn. I'm not sure if you can actually replenish on allied territory. And I'm not sure if the one turn difference actually matters. This is actually safer, because if he march out to attack us for any reason during those four turns, we can actually respond by going here. If we went here and he attacked us over here, it'd been awkward. Let's do this. She'll just follow behind. Right, Han Zhong. Uh, autumn season. So this will be finished by winter, and then this will be finished by spring, which is perfect timing for our reform. Our ending is going to blow very soon. Uh, if that army is not back, we'll just use Liu Bu's army to farm it. Assuming Yuan Shao is not going to do anything fishy in the meantime. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's going to resist. Two more turns. All right, let's continue. All right, Zhongjiang Liu Bei signed a peace treaty. Liu Bu had another son. I mean, our family's getting pretty large. Even we have three kids, or four, um, technically four plus Liu Bu. And Liu Bu has three kids of his own. Two strategists. Okay. Interesting. Both of his boys are strategists. All right, one more turn for him before to attack. Interestingly, Liu Dai has pulled back. I mean, it's smart, considering he's two turns away and we're getting close. Yuan Shao has not moved at all. That means we'll just farm this. Uh, we can't reach him, uh, but we still need to chase him a little bit. Uh, Sun Qian is leading this army now. They recruited two new generals for them. Waiting here. We have them moving. School building, that's the big thing this turn. Upgrade horse pasture. Alright, Wudu. Definitely need a private workshop, then an inn. Alright, perfect. They will just move by themselves. We don't need to do anything. Ah, this army right here needs help. Alright, we can get there with March. But with normal, we need two turns, which is actually... Wait, why can't I select it? Wait, I might be able to annex on March. Right, I could annex on March. What am I thinking? Mission complete. Alright, we got ourselves a weapon craftsman. And your job is done. This is relatively safe. It's just hard for people to get to here, so no one really targets it. Uh, we have a bunch of money. Kind of want to just upgrade it real quick all the way to tier 3. Alright, now we don't have to worry about it. Uh, we can also try a new invoke council. It's probably still the same thing. We might actually do it at a, uh, a counselor. It's 15% extra peasantry, I believe. Not the worst bonus. We can give it to, you know, one of our level 4 generals. Uh, I was trying to save it for maybe a more unique looking general. We'll wait. Uh, I think that's it. I think we moved everyone. Let's continue. Alright, it's springtime. Oh, Liu Yan died. Liu Zhang took over. We like energetic. Campaign movement range is OP. Stone Archer. Charitable. That's very good. Extra peasantry. Minus four food. Oh, that hurts. That really does hurt. Look at that. 
I think the assignment also timed out the same exact time. Uh, let's see. Anyone good? Nope. Also could be a spy. Female spies are much better than male spies. Because you can easily marry them into most factions. So I think his time with us is over. We're going to dump him. Uh, oh, he has a lot of good spying traits, though. Maybe we'll keep both. We'll keep both. Oh, she's really old. Never mind. We're not going to marry her into any family. She's 63. All right. That's a factor that we had to consider. They all try and level up again. Uh, we'll get flaming shot first. Who else leveled up? Our air. Good. Flexibility. That pretty much wraps up all the leadership bonuses. What else should we do? We need to get our Simons for food again. Oh, he's still active. It's just because Guosu picked up minus four food, which lowered the base. Uh, that's a big issue. It almost prevents him from being an administrator. Alright, because we lose four food, he also adds four public order. 10% peasantry. 5% all sources. He's good, he's just. Mm, he's just not gonna work for food production. Which is what we need. Uh, we also can't chase anymore because Liu Dai is getting smart. He sailed back to flank us. We gotta run back to the capital. That army we just have to leave alone. Alright, we'll worry about our food situation later. We'll pick up this school bonus. Now we can tear down the school. And upgrade the inn. I guess we do need food. They're not fully replenished yet. We can't march them. Our other army should be replenished enough to start attacking. Man, what's this trait? This trait is really a problem. Alright, they're replenished enough. We'll wipe out Hansui next turn. What we could do is do something like this. Man, Niofu is running around the map. Busy guy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. March. Uh, he still can't reach it. He's still a little short. Yeah, it's one turn short. I guess we'll get some food next turn. And we can also annex this one for some food later too. We can start sending someone here. Uh, let's see. He's cheap. And he's cheap. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to first have him go as close as he can this way. That's what we should have done. We should have moved him a little bit closer when he didn't have any movement so that we can pick that up. We'll put him on the field. Alright, so it's 2,000, 5,000 for the annexes. Uh, we can just walk first. Don't want to commit our money right away. Alright, we'll be able to attack that next turn. We'll suffer through a turn of negative food. Not the biggest concern, consider we have reserves everywhere. Although it's going to drop by a bunch. Alright, let's continue. 
All right. So we did predict this. Liu Zhang declared war on us before we declare war on him. So it's good we took our route through our territory just in case he marched up with a maneuver like this. All right. So Sun Jian signs a peace treaty. He's getting really strong. Guo Jia got wounded. Oh no. Really? Don't pick up any bad traits. Okay, at least he didn't pick up anything like one-eyed. He's on the edge of the map. We could force him to move, which I don't know which way he would escape. Or we can just head back, which might be the safer option, to be honest. We'll head back. We'll get some food here. It's level two. Only two food. Okay. We'll rush it. Helps a little. And next here. Are you planting food? You're not. Come on, you're a small town, you gotta plant food. Alright, we'll put two agricultural buildings here. Go along with the farmland, and we'll put a conscription building here as a third building. This will be just a small city build with horse pasture. Uh, we'll pick this up at the end. So we gotta declare war on them, that's interesting. We're not all replenished, so we'll stay on our side. We can actually ambush here. Don't know where the armies are, but we'll see them soon enough. We'll do uh, in first, then private workshop. Rebellion in a turn. Well, we need these guys back here. Uh, we'll figure it out. Can they get to their target this turn? That's the problem. I don't think they can. Oh, crap. <laughs> They're a little short. What if we give you the... How about now? Oh, crap. Um... We should actually give them these for the melee. Oh, they don't have melee cavalry, so it doesn't matter. Lu Bu probably can't equip it back this turn. Yeah, it's a one turn cooldown now. That's fine. That's fair. We'll do it next turn. Um, That's all we can do, actually. Let's see, can we actually... No, we might as well wait for the turn. Alright, let's just continue then. Alright, so next turn. Uh, did we get anyone interesting? Not really. Uh, we'll take a look at this. I think we're just going to end our episode here. Uh, we're seconds away from ending Hunsui. And then we're also going to claim the rest of these territories. Uh, as our economy and turn timers permit. And Liu Zhang has declared war on us. Even spent 4,000 gold to get us an uh, armor craftsman. Very kind of him. We're going to sweep down through his territory, take out Jialong. We'll take whole control of the Shu region as well. And then we'll march down south uh, to meet our uh, uh, Shixie over here to grab all the spices. We have a spy there that we should probably revisit at the beginning of next episode as well. Uh, meanwhile, across the map, if we look at ownership, this gray area, Sun Jian, he is expanding quite a bit. Uh, so he's definitely going to be very strong going into the late game. Cao Cao's not that strong right now, uh, but he can still manipulate other parties to work for him. Liu Bei is pretty strong. He has a little piece here. He has a little piece here. Kong is definitely not weak now that he has the entire Shandong Peninsula. Gong Sun Zan is very strong in the north. Yuan Shao has dumped most of his forces here. Uh, he sent another army here too, so we'll see what we do with him. And Zheng Jiang is doing pretty well after signing peace treaty with us and heading back to her territory. So that's the current situation. We're going to wrap up the West officially next episode with Han Sui's death. 
and then we can start expanding into the shoe land at the same time. So hope you guys enjoy this episode and see you all next time. Bye.